you dropped my king streak and that happened a bunch that wasn't like oh a one-off thing it kept happening and i'm like dude how are you not gonna tip that's just completely unacceptable thanks for the money dummies <laughs> Band, 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 band. The camera's been on the whole time. Bouncy, bouncy. I'm actually a virgin. <gasps> See this fucking piece of garbage disc? <laughs> Thanks for the money, stupid fuck. Good morning, everyone. On today's show, we're taking a step back to calm down, relax, have a nice day of normalcy. Today, we're going to be talking about a lot of positive stuff. I'm going to be doing a gaming schedule update. I sent someone a DM. That's your topic for today? What? Bragging about sending someone a DM? Really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> also, I'm excited to announce that I have received some merchandise samples from a company that I've been in talks with about the possibility of making me some merch again. And so what we're going to do today is sit down and take a look at this and see what you guys think. Obviously, I want to get some public opinion on if you're interested and go from there. It's going to be a nice, relaxing, normal podcast day. I don't have any kinds of dramatic topics to talk about today. You know, I've been getting some feedback recently. Some people really like me talking about detractors and drama and things like that. And I get it because it's over the top cringe, leaning into it as hard as I have been. Like me, I told you guys, I've been reaching out to a whole bunch of people across the internet doing it for attention. You see, the drama hounds were like, oh yeah, yeah, let's get to it. Nah, I think today we want to definitely take the step back and just kind of relax. So I think it's time to chill. If you're not okay with that and you're upset, get the fuck out of here. Do you think I care about your bullshit? Go fuck yourself, okay? Cool. Before we get started, I have a couple shout outs to do. And I just want to say, <clears throat> King Streak at nine. Nine straight streams yet again, where we are crushing it and hitting the King's Tips goal every single stream. We were at 41. And then it ends because of Black Myth Wukong. The positivity is ending. Now, today, I'm hoping we can keep the King Street going. It's always Sunday I'm the most nervous about. Why? I'm not confident in my content. I don't think that this is entertaining and people like it and will support it. But there's less attendance on Sundays, always. It's always been Sunday where I'm like, you know, this King Street will end. So today, please support the streams. You know how to do it. Super chats, memberships, and tips. Let's keep the King Street going. If you don't, now what do I do? If I'm going to sit there and I can't get tips, it's just going to frustrate me. So hopefully, hopefully, we will get Super Chats. Memberships, gifted memberships, and tips. Okay, cool. We actually have a couple quick shout-outs to do for, for tips this morning, and then we're going to get into the meat of the show. So we started off with a $2 tip from Squirting Clown Diarrhea. All right, great. All right, so that person's back. <laughs> cool. All right, so I would like to get to our next topic. And our next topic today is a very positive one, a very fun one. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been around for 16 years. In the 16 years that I've been a content creator, I've had many different generations of people who have liked my content. And I've actually gone through many different companies and stuff in regards to making merch and the like. Ages ago, I used to use this website called Cafe Press. I had merchandise that was like some basic t-shirts, some mugs, stickers, and stuff like that. Okay, I didn't even advertise it ever. I just wanted to let everyone know that if you are interested in Dark Side Phil merchandise, it's www.cafepress.com backslash Dark Side Phil. So go check it out. You know, t-shirts. I've got mouse pads up there now. I know some people were actually asking for mouse pads. Those are up there now. Uh, stickers, magnets, you know, any kind of swag that you would think, you know, that you might want is now available up on that site. And over the course of this weekend, a lot more products will be added. The SIG water bottle with my King of Hate logo on it, which you can get at cafepress.com slash darksidephil. I have a page on Cafe Press where I put up t-shirts, uh, custom uh, mugs, water bottles, clocks, uh, any kind of merchandise you can think of. It was cool, but I never really sold too much of it. So I ended up just closing the whole thing. When I really got into merch the second time, was when I became a full-time live streamer in 2017. Teespring reached out to me and said, hey, we see that you're a full-time streamer now. We know who you are. We know about your audience. We know that they want merch and we'd like to make a shop for you. The only reason I ever really had the Teespring was because it was fan requested. They were like, Phil, would you have merchandise for your fans? Because we'd maybe like a collectible of something of our favorite content creator. They liked the content. They were like, hey, it would be great if you had merch. I didn't make a lot of money on it. The profit margin was like one to $2 per shirt. 
So I made nothing on it. Like, I think the highest month ever, I made like 300 bucks. And then after that, it just petered right off. And I made like $10 a month, if that. And then one day, about three years ago, I'm streaming. And someone says to me, hey, Phil, are you aware that your merch shop is gone? No. So I go to look at it and it is gone. I go to log in, error, contact support. So I did, I wrote them asking what give. They were rebranding and what they were doing is they were systematically starting to kick people off the site who they deemed like weren't in their own ideology, which is insane to me. I want you to think about that. So what ended up happening in 2021, my trolls formulated this like manifesto package of negative stuff about me. It had the awful jokes from the Dead Space 2 demo from 2010, racial comments from other videos, and they put it all together, and then they said, look, he's a racist, and he's a sexist, and he's a bigot, and this is who you have on your site. And they sent that to Twitch, which got me kicked out of the Twitch Partner Program, and they sent it to Teespring. And Spring, rebranding and wishing to have a new image, decided on a whim without even contacting me that I was not fit for their site, and they, they removed my shop. They created the shop. They created the product. They were the ones who recruited me, well knowing about my past. They were okay with it. And now they kick me off the site. Doesn't make any sense at all. They basically are prejudiced against me. It's absolutely insane that they would behave like that. It's completely unprofessional. And the fact they never even reached out to me to say, hey, we're closing your shop and here's why. That's completely unprofessional. They are not a good business to work with. I'm sorry. Anyway, so I haven't had merch for three years. And it's not that I haven't tried. Earlier this year, another business reached out to me. And I kept explaining to them, listen, I'm not going to proceed setting up a shop on your storefront until you look into knowing that I'm going to have this online hate mob following me the fuck around. You have to expect this is going to happen. You have to say you're okay with it. So at first, this person who I was talking to was like, oh, how bad could it be? It's not a big deal. I was like, you have no clue what you're talking about. I want you to go search for me right now on the internet. And I, then I want you to come back at me and tell me you're still interested. They never responded again. So... Now, in the last month and a half, things are changing. My reputation's different now. I was put into contact with a company that really doesn't give a shit. They actually just don't care about this kind of stuff. All they care about is making some money. That's it. They don't care about making quality products. So I've been talking with them for a couple of weeks. What they said they wanted to do is do a couple samples for me just to look and see the quality. Okay. So we have a couple products to look at today. Two shirts is what they sent me. First is a long sleeve ringer t-shirt. And as you can see, the quality of the print it's actually one of those glossy print companies they do tend to to break after you wash this it's actually really low quality shit i'm just gonna forewarn everyone they smell okay you gotta wash it before you wear it they smell like the stinky sock Ugh, fucking logos printed crooked what the hell like how'd you screw this up so bad so that's the quality of the long sleeve ringer shirt now this is their standard t-shirt so it's me as Dan with DSP Gaming underneath. See that? Which is pretty cool. There you go. So how does it look? The print quality looks great to me. Again, that's probably going to break in the wash right away. So there you go. So that's the two examples, all right, of t-shirts that we'll have. Their products are very shoddy, really low quality shit, real thin materials. Personally, I like these. Let me know what you think. Hey, like, do you really want to pay $25 for a t-shirt from a company and you get it and the fucking logo is printed crooked and looks like shit? Yes, people are saying yes. Some people are saying yes. You're mentally stunted people. I'm going to get back to them and be like, yeah, I actually really like the first product she sent. Let's talk further. I will definitely look into the archives of crap that I got on my computer here that I can now make product out of, right? From what I'm going to understand, they're going to do it for me, which is good because I don't really have time to be designing products now. I had to do all that myself on Teespring. These guys can set up a good product line for me. Well, okay, so let me ask you guys. Besides Philomania... What other logos would you guys like to see as product? The Level 1 Podcast has its logo. Would you like to see that on a shirt or a hat or something like that? That might sell twice and that's it. Outside of Philomania and, and Level 1 Podcast, what else would you like? Maybe what I'll do, I'll bring back some of the classic designs. Thousands of people bought this. Huh? Resident Evil 4 Leon DSP. That could maybe be possible, but someone would have to whip that up. Me as a car dealer with people like RTU and Craig sitting at a table with no chips. Not allowed. You can't really use other people's likenesses. <clears throat> Unlike other people who have sold my likeness without permission, it's completely illegal. I'm not going to be doing that stuff. Bloomkid did a super chat. A shirt of you wearing the crown with text saying the heat is back. All hail the king. That could be cool. As you know, I'm a hateful person. Guys, right now we have no super chats, no memberships of any kind. And we had two small tips amounting to 
three dollars today we obviously want to keep the king streak alive please support the content super chats memberships gifted memberships and tips let's get some support going now it would be great if we could actually hit the king's tips goal or get relatively close to it before this podcast ends i want to put out an entertaining stream and i can't do that if we're playing the waiting game right Okay, good stuff. Now what I would like to do, folks, is go through games that have solid release dates for the rest of 2024 and personally pick out and tell you guys the ones that I'm interested in. So let's go through this. I don't really see anything that's standing out. So yeah, no, like none of these really appeal to me at all. All right, just being honest here. Still going, as you can see, there's like nothing. I'm serious, there's nothing for the rest of September. Is this the new Monopoly? This is the new Monopoly game. And it's on PC too. I might get that. I'm serious. Like, I might get that. I know people are at Monopoly. I love Monopoly. It might seriously be something good that people would like. I don't know. I think it would be though. But outside of that, Worms Armageddon, no. Looney Tunes, no. It's like nothing, right? It's like nothing going on for the rest of the month. I feel like October is a much heavier month, but let's actually get to the real dates because you can see these all say quarter four, which is not a real date. TBA is not a date. I don't know why they list these. This is so stupid. You should not even be listed here. Where are the real dates? Can I get to a real date instead of TBA? What a bunch of dummies. But they don't know how to, run, how to run their site, IGN. Look, it's all fucking TBA. Dunces. I want the actual games coming out in October, and you fucked up your site because you're dumb. Look, we're still going through TBAs. Oh my god, this is unbearable stupidity. It's still TBA. So their site doesn't even work. It's just a bunch of TBAs. Oh... Uh... Hopefully that gave you guys an idea of what you can expect for at least like the rest of the year here. I have received a $5 tip. That is the biggest tip of the day. That is terrible. Huh? I'm sorry, but it sure would be great to have a $5,000 tip. <laughs> All right, so guys, we're almost done. FYI, I gotta be out of here within five to 10 minutes. Thank you for the, for the few who super chatted. We don't have any memberships today, sadly. And we're only at 10 bucks in tips. So this is a really slow start. Now, King Street, it's helped me tremendously. I would like to keep it going. If it continues, I can continue to do things that will help me out. For example, my wife and I are gonna go look for things like a dishwasher. I think the dishwasher has been broken for two years. Uh, a new fan and light for our dining room because our light ripped out of the ceiling the other day because we can afford it. The momentum has been tremendous and I want to keep it going. If you enjoyed this show today, if you had a good time, please support it. Right now, the best way to do that would be tipping. Tip and then we can celebrate and, you know, I don't want to have to bring it up, you know, the last few weeks during the react streams, we usually hit a big chunk of that goal before we go to the react show. They were 10 bucks in, you know, it would be great right now in the last few minutes, we can get some contributions that would help a lot. So now the villain says, what about a vacation? Vacation's not in the cards right now for a couple of reasons. Reason number one, my wife is crazy right now. She's a jumbled mess, not a happy mess at all. But there's nothing we can really do about that. It's just life, right? It's how, how life works. Number two, we couldn't really go on a vacation because of Jasper Kitty. He's afraid of other people. Like when people come over to do maintenance on the house or, or whatever, he freaks out and he runs away and he hides under the bed. He's very friendly with us and nobody else. He's literally scared of everybody else. Let's go on a vacation for two weeks and we go and poor Jasper Kitty now gets traumatized uh, to be honest yeah it would be great to finally have a honeymoon but i don't think we could do it right now i think that's something that's long term but right now it's just not in the cards it's not what could be in the cards is a staycation let's say this level of support that i've been getting the increase in super chats and memberships and tips it keeps going for a month maybe we could take a, a whole week off to stay home but do things we've wanted to do for ages my garage is a mess my garage, I wanted to clean out and I just don't have time. So maybe that could be what it is, is having actual time off from streaming for, for several days. And that would be cool. But I need to get to that point anyway. All right, guys, that's it for the show. I hope you enjoyed the show. Put my toe in my wife. Ooh, it actually feels pretty good. But as my foot got used to being in my wife, it just wasn't that special anymore. And I realized it's pretty dry. Wow. <laughs>